Fire, can I ask a question about your... Uh... Aye, aye. Aye, First Mighty Queen for New Zealand. Yes. Uh, why not? Maybe all of our troubles have been because we've never had a Māori Queen for Aotea or a Queen that lived here, that resided here instead of Elizabeth who resides in, in England. And how do you see it coming, generating out of the Whenua, the Marae? It's coming through as it's got to be confirmed through the Marae. Yeah. Through our Marae. So how do you see it, um, how do you see the, the concept of the monarchy, which is where the crown gets its name from, um, how do you see that coming through uh, Marae and the Pa? Um, so 2012, how do you see that? How do you see it rising uh, through? We spoke about this earlier with regards to the Tamariki having no vote and the elder population who live longer being um, Tawiwi, if you like, or ancestor back to Scotland or the UK. So readdressing re the boat voting imbalance. Uh, Ten kids. Say, let's educate ourselves on history right. for their lives is true. Let's bring in the scales of balance to judge and decide uh, for giving us a direction of where we, we want to be in the future. I also say that the scales of justice brings justice and we've got a coat of arms that stands outside New Zealand courts where all the decisions are being made, where everything's being lost, that needs to be replaced with the scales of justice. Now you're going to look up the um, prayer that Parliament says yes, when it opens. Yeah. Um, I'll be interested to come back and uh, ask you what your feelings are yes, after you've yeah. listened to that prayer because that really sets the ahua of everyone that resides in that house. Yes. The other question is the upper house. We don't have an upper house. We have a very powerful executive with the ministers being very powerful. So one of the things to have an upper house in Te Reo Māori, may like a Māori council, so all legislation goes up there and both houses have to agree before it goes forward because otherwise we just get these things quickly happening and then there's no tai ho, tai ho, tai ho. Uh, well, we'll be, I'll be struck. Uh, British rule has had its time, had its time of colonising indigenous people. We have to come to the end and I see a Māori government in New Zealand, the first Māori government, and get back to common sense how we had it, tribal areas governing. Uh, the future may not, we may not have a beehive for our future too. Do we really need them? Now, you are wearing a um, korowai? Uh, yes. 
which I made, and it represents the reason why I made it. Represents uh, the end of colonising the indigenous Maori people. That's the sign and a symbol. Now we started by talking because of your beauty, and I say beauty in the fullest sense because of the recognising the tikanga and kawa that represents those feathers, because the birds were here when the early yes, canoes right, came, yep. and so then you started to talk about um, monarchy. Yes. And I realised there was no need to go inside. The, the actual corridor is about the monarchy because yes. really, how do how do we balance in the, the 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 monarchy of the of the two reals really, Rio Pakeha and or Rio English and and Rio Maori, um, and so you like a comment on that. Like I said, the order of history. Let's look at history again of languages again. For there lies the truth to decide the balance. Uh, and uh, who are we supporting here? Are we here to support the, the, the races who have many people, or are we here to support the indigenous races who do not have as many people, but they are just as important on our world map? One of the questions about and our language too. The universities um, in Te Reo Māori, so we have the Wananga, but we don't have masters and PhDs and postdoctoral work written in Te Reo Māori. It's very easy to translate those into Russian and German and Chinese. And one of the interesting things is that the languages of China, for example, uh, Manuhiri that come to New Zealand, they always have a whenua where they can go back to where, the, where their governance is in yes. the real of their yes. mother tongue. So you're suggesting that a governance model within New Zealand around a real Māori, um, supported by universities with masters and PhDs written in real Māori. I'm not. Right. I'm supporting the Araki. How we the example for Tiaroa, the Araki and Langatira were first and second in authority. Mm. The Tohunga, which was the Araki ranking line, the judges and priests line became the Māori queen or king in our history originally. And it's through reading Michael King's history about Tukuya Michael King and, and also um, the, the Moriori side of things. So my question, looking at the early migrations in the canoes, the first thing that was set up was the wānanga. As soon as the canoe arrived, the wānanga was set up, and the young went from one wānanga to the to gain the knowledge of the land. And so this question around masters and PhDs in Te Reo Māori uh, is about Re regaining the wānanga. So intellectualism, the Tiriti of Waitangi is all about identified as the assertion of an authority. That authority is divided into three categories. First category, religious, because of the missionaries. Second category, intellectualism. Third category, the military, the uniforms, who were to take, as we saw today, the instructions from the other two authorities. And there we have it. We were never a people of intellectualism. However, we can bring in the scales of balance and acknowledge that these people are having all the say now. I still feel that the, the migration in the canoes were great feats like going to the moon the, in NASA. So the, 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 the amazing migrational feats of travel across vast oceans, when we fly over them for a 12 hour or 24 hour flight to UK, we realise just how vast those oceans were and for a couple of weeks migration to Aotearoa. So just asking that question about if the world is but one country, and humankind its citizens, how does the monarchy that you see fit into the world being but one country and all of the people of the world being the citizens of that one country? Uh, well, I, I say we need to get back to independence, it does. Mm. Why cannot Aotearoa New Zealand be its own people under a set of scales of justice? We can, we can go it alone, I, can, I say, and that should be respected. It's about respect and the rest of the world too. To each nation, each nation is entitled individually eh, to be who they are. Otherwise, we, we're not going to we're going to be completely mixed far too much. Where do you draw up the line of mixing the races? How do we still protect our tamariki coming through? Who are they going to marry out to? Eh? This is going on line, and it'll be the first one of, and then the rest will follow. So you actually get to be the karanga call on of this so I just wanted to mention that um, and it's on YouTube and this little iPhone is the MIDI uh, you know, of today and your beautiful uh, represents the internet so lots of people will watch this for the next hundred years. Thank Gura. you. Sure.